Many species dance. Albatross bond with a duet and a duel. Bees waggle to tell their hive where food is. But when it comes to busting a move, no group gets their groove on in more distinct and mesmerizing ways than the peacock spiders. Not only does each species in the peacock spider genus, Muratus, have its own signature style and swagger, many drop their own unique beat. And if you're surprised that these spiders have moves like Jagger, you're not alone. Just to see the, the fan lift up and, and splay out a whole nother level. Like, this thing is real, it is in nature, like this is, yeah. As a grad student at UC Berkeley's Rosenblum Lab, Madeline Gerard's goal is to translate and catalog the displays of these eight-legged beatboxes. Trying to understand why these spiders sort of have evolved really elaborate displays to court females and just exactly what females are queuing in on and what what makes a male good or not good. To answer these questions, Gerard and colleagues needed to catch a wide variety of these tiny dancers and their female counterparts. They sort of blend in with your environment. And a lot of females of different species look almost identical. So you, you can never really tell what a female is unless there are males around to sort of be like, oh, OK, that's, that's the male that goes with this female. From various habitats along Australia's western and eastern coast, dozens of peacock spiders were collected. Some previously identified, and some brand new to science. We definitely have the uh, gotta catch them all sort of mentality. These specimens were brought back to Gerard's lab, where she could capture male performances in a controlled setting. I use a set of pantyhose over a, a, a nylon frame, essentially, and with that stretch very tightly, we, we put the spiders on that and um, can record their their vibrations. Which tells researchers what the female spider would feel during the dance. Spiders don't have ears in the same way that we have ears. They've got sense organs in their leg that are able to sort of detect surface movements um, in the ground. But like all other groups of jumping spiders, the Muratus are a highly visual genus. So often the dance begins with each species' unique visual pickup line. Hey, hey, over here, look at me, <laughs> that kind of thing. But then, you know, when a female orients at a male, he'll very promptly lift up his abdomen and sort of splay out the span and start waving it from side to side with his legs. And now each species can dance to the rhythm of their own drum. Some more strange than others. Like this previously undescribed species, currently called the sparkle muffin peacock spider. They do a lot of asymmetrical dancing. They usually use one leg at a time, and then they have these crazy elongated spinnerets that sort of just like wave at the female. In between these bouts of booty shaking, a male will actually pause that, that display, and that's when he vibrates. Us watching doesn't really look like he's doing much during that time. You just sort of see his abdomen moving up, back and forth, but um, he's actually making vibrations, and then he'll sort of resume the, the fan waving display. Finally, if the female likes what she sees, she lets the male initiate a grand finale. And he does this sort of end display where um, he brings his legs, front legs, over the female and it, with his third legs out to the side. And a lot of peacock spiders of different species seem to have that very same ending. Full disclosure, the females in the lab are pinned in place with removable wax, and not just so that they can get clean recordings of visuals and acoustics of the courtship. In the lab, I've, I've had cannibalism happen. The males that are you know, less, less up to female standards are, are the targets. Each species appears to have its own standards, but Gerard's initial experiments with the Muratus volon species hints that what a female prefers is a male who can dance and sing eagerly. If you're better at singing, you're better at dancing too. You're just sort of overall a, a better male. At least the ones we've done in the lab where sort of the, the conditions are all standardized. The combination of both of those things and both of those things sort of performed better is, is important. But even though we know that females like a quality performance, we still don't know what the dance is actually saying. They're, they're not giving them parental care. They're not providing a, a territory for the females to live. They're not giving food. 
So, you know, the, the, probably the thing that it could indicate is something about sort of the male's genetic quality, but um, I, I don't know. It could just sort of be a really attractive signal that females are queuing in on. It sure got our attention. For Science Friday, I'm Luke Groskin.